An upcoming event at UNC Charlotte is getting a lot of attention tonight. Yes, a group of students taking a unique and creative approach to sex education that not everyone is on board with. Anchor Genevieve Curtis looked into the event that's called Sex Week UNC Charlotte. Genevieve, I understand the group has faced some criticism and questions about their plans. Yeah, Erica, Sex Week is meant to stimulate conversations about sex, gender, and sexual health. And last year, 400 students attended events here on campus related to Sex Week. But some are asking, who's paying for it? People will dismiss the us and the events that we do as being immature. With eye-popping event names like Check Yourself for STDs, Cookies and Condoms, and His and Herpes, the founders of Sex Week say they've had a few people hot and bothered questioning their mission. A lot of the arguments are that we're either using tax dollars, which we are not. The student organization receives grants from the Student Government Association. Now, the SGA tells Channel 9 every student organization can apply for the funding, which comes directly from student activity fees. If you didn't get the, you know, ex like the education that you needed in sex ed, now's the time for us to come talk about it and address that issue. UNC Charlotte Sex Week now in its third year joins schools like the University of Tennessee, Ohio State, and Harvard, promoting an intimate week meant to spark discussions to help better educate students about their bodies, safety, consent, and their sexual health. Our age group is most likely to have STDs or STIs or unintended pregnancy. And I think a lot of that is just from general lack of information and then fear about asking it and not knowing where to go and not having those resources. They're trying to remove the stigma around the birds and the bees. Sex education in a lot of areas is lacking and isn't covering certain things. With events like a lingerie party hosted by an author looking to promote body positivity and a drag show celebrating gender identity and inclusion, plus a panel about sex and religion featuring clergy members of different faiths. The different people who come to the events can inform um, the dialogue. Now, Sex Week also isn't affiliated with the university. That's another question that organizers say that they get. It is run by students, paid for by students, for students. And it starts in February after Valentine's Day. They tell me they always and have only received positive responses from students here on campus.